It looks like the hardwood is really well maintained. Look at that. As you guys roam around the facilities, you will see memorabilia and history around the area. Hello and good morning everyone! We're here today at the Richmond Olympic Oval because we wanted to try the Richmond Olympic experience. If you guys didn't know, the Winter Olympics 2010 was held here in Vancouver. This is one of the facilities that they used. I actually came into Canada. We moved here in Canada about 2010, which is the same time that the Winter Olympics is happening. And I was not actually aware of how the Winter Olympics work because back in the Philippines, we weren't as much as aware of like all the tournaments like this. But especially yeah. the winter one. Yeah, especially <laughs> the winter one. But we eventually became a fan of the tournament. It seems that they have small towns and cities of Canada in each of the plates here engraved. See, this is Duncan, BC. Here is Victoria. First off, we gotta find admission. I'm not too sure how much the tickets are, but we'll try to find out if there's some sort of discount. I think we're the only ones here right now. Yeah, and if you guys hear airplanes just passing by, it's because this Richmond Olympic Oval is just right beside the airport. So we just got our tickets and luckily there is a discount today that this hour because it's part of their non-peak hours. Tickets are only $8? $8, originally priced at $20. Yeah, $20 per adult and I think there's some discounts for seniors and youth. We're gonna give you guys that information later. But right now, it's only $8. Here is the overall map of the entire facility. Here's for level 1. We came from this part right here when we're, where we entered. And there's the parking, there's some shops right here, some lockers. We're gonna check out level 2 later. That's where you find the basketball courts, volleyball courts and the oval and some ice skating rinks and we're gonna check out the fitness center later on and that's where the Olympic experience is and the museum As you guys roam around the facilities you will see memorabilia and history around the area Like this wall, right? Yeah! So it's just a bunch of histories and signed footballs signed trophies and stuff Collector's pins? This volleyball must be ages now <laughs> It's from 1980s brown it comes with a bag too they even have this limited edition coca-cola commemorative bottle <laughs> it's like so vintage look at that it has a number so this is 29,137 out of 50,000 bottles you got championship rings here look at that Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, <laughs> Max is just reenacting history here. It's good to see the facility as this part of the big history here in Vancouver. So this seems to be the ice skating rink, which is just open from Thursdays to Sundays. It's currently closed right now. So we can't rent skates. Too bad. Well, it's not like we're professional skaters anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there are two Olympic rinks. This one is currently being used as a hockey practice rink. I'm scared! <laughs> it seems that they have some memorabilia here too. More of like the, the clothing that they wore, the things that they used, even like the flaglets. There's like medals, there's like snowboard gear, ski gears, and I think this is a Paralympian ski. It's amazing, look at the tiny ski. And they have two of those. So they have like the main ski, which they ride on, and they have those small key poles. It seems that they keep the torches for the Paralympics here as well. So this is the torch for Vancouver 2010. This is the 2006 torch. This is London 2012 and 2014 Sochi. 
This looks like the guy from iRobot. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're too short. Still so the second floor is divided into four quarters. Yeah, four quarters. First quarter was the ice skating rink that we saw earlier. And this one is dedicated to the basketball court. So people can just go here and play some hoops. Yeah. You have in total how many courts? Uh, I, think I think there's like six right six now. Six courts. Six with multiple rings, so there's plenty for everyone. I am already regretting that we didn't bring in clothes today for, for workout. We didn't even wear the proper shoes. It looks like the hardwood is really well maintained. Look at that, it's so shiny. We're now gonna see Maxim's basketball skills. Ah! <laughs> 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 nope. Yo! Hey! So I think we're just about to approach here the indoor football, which is right here, and the ping pong area. There's a lot of people playing table tennis. And for the last part of level two is this indoor track and field. So big! Yeah, I think it's being used right now as a badminton court and a volleyball court. This place is incredibly huge, right? Yeah. Like I've never seen a facility that houses this much activities. And even if you don't know any sport, it feels like you want to try all of it. They even have an indoor rock climbing wall right here, but it's currently being renovated right now. It's supposed to open around March. As we step on the floor, we get that bouncy feeling because they have like an insole protection on the floor here for the athletes. <laughs> you barely even touch the top. <laughs> We are now going up to the third floor. This is where the gym is and the Olympic experience. The Olympic experience has a theater inside and some simulations that the guests can enjoy. And unfortunately, since we came on a Monday, the Olympic experience is closed today. It's only open from Thursday to Sunday. Yeah too bad. I guess we're gonna come back. <laughs> yeah, there's always next time. We met this trainer, his name is Ryan, and he gave us a tour of the facilities that we have there. He was kind enough to give us a small tour of like the the things that they invest on, like small training rooms, um, some cycle rooms. They call it like Oval Fit, which is like a spin cycle area, which is primarily first in Canada of that technology. And what it does is like, you sit in this room and you get tracked and there's like a huge screen that tracks your overall performance and gives you like guides on the program and stuff. I heard that they blast the music so it's like a party inside there. Also another one was, I think it was called Oval Athletics. It's this separated training room from their public gym area. Only 16 people can fit in and all you do is just go in there. There's like already a program and you just start hitting it, start going. Yeah, and you have a private instructor to guide you all throughout your training there. Aside from their public gym area, which is right on the third floor, they also have private training rooms for like private clients and stuff that they don't want to be seen in public. They have like really high end and expensive equipment in there. A little bit more information about the rock climbing area. I think it's under construction right now because there is gonna be a tournament around April time. That's why they're trying to renovate it, make it more wide and high enough to climb. Yeah, for the tournament. The constructions are gonna finish around March and the tournament will be starting at April. We still haven't seen a bunch of stuff here in the facility. There's like the experience that we tried on going but it's currently closed right now. That's the museum, the Olympic experience. We're gonna have to come back for that one. There's also like batting cages that we haven't seen. There's tons, there's tons of stuff that we still haven't seen here. And the theater. We definitely need to come back and explore more. If you haven't yet, 
please subscribe in our channel and hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions for the upcoming vlogs, let us know in the comment section down below. Until then, see you on our next vlog. And thanks for watching. Bye!